To be in this category, to even be mentioned in this category is insane to me. There's a lot in fame that's gross and horrible and just miserable. I can't sing if I'm crying. I can't do this, I'm sorry, bro. Billie Eilish always wanted to be famous, but now that she's a massive star, is it everything she dreamed it would be? Or is the price getting too high for her to pay? Billie Eilish has learned that being famous means saying goodbye to everyday pleasures most of us take for granted. At this point, she can't even go shopping without being absolutely mobbed by her adoring public. I might be safe if I go to Trader Joe's. No? Not safe. I tried it. She's tried to patronize less popular places with the hopes of staying subtle. Unfortunately, this hasn't worked out for her, and she says it's easier just to stay home instead of braving public places when she doesn't have to. I don't even think about going out anymore. Billy's not one to shy away from wearing bold and bright colors, but when she goes to the airport, she tries to stay as incognito as possible. She says that dressing in head-to-toe black and keeping her head down is the only way she can make her flights without being totally overwhelmed by all the attention. Getting her own groceries may not be an option anymore, but at least she's able to travel incognito when she needs to. On one occasion, Billy was reaching out to touch hands with her fans while singing Ocean Eyes. It was a nice moment of physical contact until one person took it way too far. Somebody grabbed my hand and yanked me so hard. Her security team leapt into action, grabbing Billy's wrist and the other person's and prying them apart. It took a solid minute to separate them. And let's not forget that Billy was mid song the entire time. She was desperate to maintain her composure, but ended up falling over after the struggle. And this wasn't the only frightening fan encounter she's had by getting too close. On another occasion, touching hands ended with Billy losing something valuable. Somebody stole my ring! At this point in her career, she doesn't even wear genuine jewelry most of the time. She claims it's because she either loses it or breaks it. But based on this scary situation, it seems like a safety concern. Later, a woman ended up returning the ring to concert security, claiming that it fell off Billy's hand and she just happened to find it. One particularly upsetting fan encounter involved someone reaching out and placing their hand around her throat. Billy says it was a terrifying moment, but she tried to tell herself they were just trying to be affectionate, and it came off wrong. But is she just an understanding optimist, or is she giving people too much credit? Understandably, these experiences have put her a little bit on edge. One fan gave her a handmade stuffed bloche that she started sleeping with, but the other day, I was lying in bed and thinking like, what if she put a camera in this thing? <laughs> hey, you can never be too careful. Being a huge star has allowed Billy to buy her dream car, a matte black Dodge Challenger. But there's just one little problem. She had to put off getting her license because she had way too much to do. I got to it a little bit late, even though it's something I've literally wanted to do my entire life. Calling Billy busy is an understatement. And she's still struggling to get used to this on-the-go lifestyle. When her manager gave her the schedule for her 2020 performances, Billy felt quiet, uncharacteristically quiet, and her eyes filled with tears. I went to my um, garage and I just cried. It just was very overwhelming and I was in a really bad place, so. Even though she became incredibly famous at a young age, Billy wasn't a child star like many of her fellow icons, like Ariana Grande, Miley Cyrus, and Selena Gomez. Instead of ramping up to this level of success and growing up in the industry, Billy found herself in the spotlight overnight, and it's been difficult for her to adjust. When most aspiring stars sign onto a label, they work with a whole team of songwriters and producers. Billy simply co-creates with her brother, Phineas O'Connell. This gives her unprecedented freedom in the music industry, but it also means she has to do a lot more work, and any of her success is entirely in her own hands. She's the first to admit that she isn't always sure which of her songs will go over well with audiences. For instance, she didn't think Bad Guy would catch on, and it hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100 and even managed to displace Old Town Road by Lil Nas X. Needless to say, the support of her family has been instrumental to her success, and they're also a huge reason she was so desperate for fame in the first place. Her parents, Maggie Baird and Patrick O'Connell, work in the entertainment industry, and Billy feels they haven't achieved the recognition they deserve. She says she wishes they were famous, and that's why she became famous.
So is this really something she wants for herself, or is she just trying to make other people happy? But right from the get-go, her managers wanted to make sure Billy was serious about her career, and that music was more than just a hobby for her. Even though she has a lot of people cheering her on, there's a lot in fame that's gross and horrible and just miserable. She admits that she hasn't always put herself first, but that's something she's working to change. Maintaining my happiness, which I've been experiencing for like the first time in many years lately, which is really cool. One big change has been her focus on staying in the moment and appreciating every moment of her success. Billy says she was initially swept up in her fame and became so overwhelmed she struggled to take a step back and enjoy it. One thing she's also improved on is her ability to be interviewed. At first, she felt an overwhelming pressure to come across as bubbly. Oh, this is my one person and I only share time with this person. No, no, no. <laughs> and now she's able to relax and be herself. But there has been one drawback to mastering the art of the interview. She got so used to talking about herself that she felt it spilling over into other aspects of her life. Instead of asking other people questions and listening, her instinct was to just go on about herself. I'm acting like I'm being interviewed instead of acting like I'm talking to a human being. Although she didn't name names, she admitted that she's seen other celebrities falling into this trap, and it's something she tries to avoid. Billy likes to see the best in other people, but that doesn't mean she isn't aware that people can be the worst sometimes. A video surfaced of her leaving Jimmy Kimmel Live, and it looked as though she was brushing past fans who booed her in response. But the truth is a little bit more complicated, and actually kind of sad. According to Billy, there were some legitimate supporters, but there was also a bunch of paparazzi, and people looking to flip her autographs for profit on eBay. When she realized most of the onlookers weren't there for the right reasons, she kept on walking. I kind of realized that it was pretty much all paparazzi and eBayers, which is what we call people that just take my signature and sell it and couldn't give less of a f about me at all. She says she'd rather connect with her fans through a hug or a chat than just writing her name on a piece of paper. Her true fans understand this, and they even helped comfort her while the paparazzi and fake stands booed. Going on tour can be stressful, but it's a great way for Billy to connect with her true supporters. Yet she's always surprised by how quickly time seems to go by when she's on the road and how few of her friends are left every time she returns home. This star describes herself as a people person and says she craves human contact. And I'm you squishy, are I'm squishy, you gotta, take a, you gotta hug me, bro. <laughs> Billy knows she's unforgettable, but says that many of her old pals have forgotten what it's like to love her, while she admits that it did suck. She doesn't blame her old friends for moving on. She's all too aware that while she's on tour, everyone else is living their lives without her. Since her number of close friends has dwindled, her support from her fans is all the more important. But the bigger she gets, the harder it is for her to connect with people. There was a time when she could perform at smaller venues, but since she now needs so much security, she's limited to larger places. Billy's learned that not everyone at her shows is there for the right reasons, and she needs to put her need for safety above her need for a connection. Needless to say, being a star also makes dating extremely complicated. According to Billy, her first date at age 13 was nothing short of a disaster. He was a wealthy kid, which wouldn't have been a big deal if he didn't bring his butler along. His butler was there the entire time, but in a different movie theater. She says she's been in love before, but right now it's not something that's on her radar because she simply doesn't have the time. I don't have my eyes on anyone. I don't have enough stamina for it right now. Right now, the only person Billy has enough energy to date is herself. And even that requires some strategic scheduling. For this star, quitting is definitely not an option. While she admits to wishing she could turn her fame on and off with the push of a button, that's obviously not realistic. Sometimes she says she'd rather just listen to music instead of having to perform it herself. But Billy puts a lot of pressure on herself to keep going and to never let anyone see her sweat. When she sprained her ankle during a show in Italy, she refused to stop her show and instead kept singing 
singing while seated. Instead of patting herself on the back for toughing it out, Billie was devastated that she couldn't give her fans the performance she felt they deserved. When the agony grew too great and she had to be carried off stage, she said the experience was a nightmare. Even though Billy advocates loving yourself and doing your own thing, it seems like she can't help but be critical of herself. She can't even watch an older video of herself without cringing over her behavior. If I met me then, now, uh -huh. I would punch that <laughs> girl in the face. Even seeing the previous state of her skin makes this star cringe. My skin was so bad, <laughs> Jesus. Look, I'm glowing now, yes! While taking a break from fame is not an option, Billy has taken a break from Twitter and says it felt incredible to be able to disconnect. But the star also admits that she spends a little too much time on Instagram, where she connects with her 43 million plus followers. Is it only a matter of time before she deactivates her Insta to preserve her sanity? What do you think about the career of Billie Eilish? Is this just a tough time in her life, or are her struggles just getting started? Let us know what you think in the comment section, and then give us a like and click on the subscribe button. Bye for now!